Don't you love the two o'clock games, Jay Tust? All right. Well, it, we've been we played some tough grinding games, and there's you know I think this is the first night that Max basically hasn't seen a box and one a full denial all night, and uh, so that for him to have some space, it was great. And you know credit that his teammates got him some easy ones and got him going. You know, and the thing that our guards have to keep getting better at, and they did it pretty good tonight, was. When a guy hits them, it's their job to find them another easy one. And, you know, that that's what their those young guards are getting better at. And, you know, we'll watch that film. But those two will make the easy ones. And on a good night, they make the hard ones. But there's good, great defensive teams don't give them any easy ones. So good point guards have to find them and be able to get them some. And I thought, you know, 26 assists tonight. Cam got them some great shots. The Post did a good job of feeding. You know, we were pretty efficient. Like I said, 26 assists. That, you know, that's, I've talked about this team being able to shoot, and it looked like a team that could shoot tonight. You know, that's, so that's good. Did you, uh, was that one of the big objectives, hopefully, was to get Max going today? Um, no, I mean, that's always an objective to get your, you know, get your shooters comfortable and feeling good about the shots and getting those numbers corrected a bit and because it all it, it is a momentum thing and you know you look even the best shooters in the NBA they go through stretches of dry spells they go through special hot streaks you know and it's it's your job as coaches it's your job as teammates to help get them out of those dry spells and um, I thought we did a pretty good job of that tonight and so that you know there's a value to these games even though you look and you go wow 109 to 70 that, and we needed that. We needed to just kind of flow and play basketball and and uh, just play with some freedom and not, you know, not just grind like we've been in those games and against. So these games, and, and it's cool. We got to play everybody tonight and everybody contributed and um, some good stuff. After Max had that third one, he kind of put his hands in the air, kind of like, you know, it's about time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. I know he was yeah. staying confident. Yeah, yeah. He knew but, that it was going to turn, but just to have a game like that, uh, what, you know, how big was Yeah, that? and I think anybody that plays golf or that, they, they, you know, you can be hitting the ball great and hitting the ball great, and you, you're like, I can never miss. And then all of a sudden something happens or, you know, just bad luck a little bit sometimes, and you're like, man, I don't think I can hit this golf ball. You know, shooters go through the same kind of thing once in a while. And, um it's hard to explain, and it's hard to, until you've been that person and lived that, it's hard to empathize and understand. You just think it's going to be the same every time. And and sometimes it is. Like, think how many of his shots just rattled in and out in that stretch. It's like, so to see him actually, they looked right, and they were pure. And that's, you know, you could tell they're going in. First 100-point game since 2020 for you guys. Uh, wow. From, from game one till now, where have you guys run the most as an offense? Well, we're starting to, you know, starting to figure out how to make others better. That's what we have to do, you know. That's the key to our season, and you know, a big part of it is has have point guards that, that do it, you know, and rack up assists, you know. And that's that, you know, their guy. I thought he, boy, he snapped some of those off, and he had 14 assists. I mean, think about that. That's you know, our guys are growing and they're getting better at it and they're understanding it, but. Uh, they got to see the picture of of how you know, and th there's a there's a reality to momentum of, with scores and shooters. You got to have a feel out there for who's scoring and where the ball's where it's working. Instead of like, well, you know, like, hey, we went three times in the post and we dunked every time. Well, how about four times? <laughs> you know, or a guy's made three in a row. How about four in a row? That's the. You know, we we got a that's a, a true point guard has a great feel for that. Leon, you look at Booz over these last two games, fifty one combined points on fifteen of twenty two shooting. Yeah. Have you ever witnessed the stretch like that? Yeah, that's the that's the beauty. You know, a lot of people get twenty two you know, like look at Max and Boozer tonight. They uh between the two of them, seven for thirteen, so they're fifteen for twenty four. And they're you know, the they're twelve for seventeen from three. That's as efficient as you can be, and and when you know 
that's what you want out of scores efficiency not you know there's a lot of guys that can score 28 they can't do it like that that efficient and his is you know and it's got to be i mean i don't know how you research it but there's got to be no one in maybe in the history of college basketball that has gotten more four point plays nate i mean it's it's unbelievable but it's offici- it's being officiated you know the right way now cuz he rises so much and these guys get into him and he's got to have a place to come down cuz it's dangerous and uh you know so they're giving him those calls which you know he's earning what about his focus right now like he makes a shot and just seems like so on to the next moment. yeah 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 no he's it's been a lot of work i mean you guys remember it was not that long ago in last uh, november when I was saying we got a special one with this guy, and you know it's our job to develop him. And you look at what he's developed into. You know, when I say it's our job, it goes on his shoulders. I mean, he's the one that takes coaching. He's the one that works his tail off. You know, I have to pull him back from work, and uh, he's getting rewarded for that. But you know, that's a credit to my assistants and the history of this program. You look at. You know, I was thinking about a lot of guys like that. You look where Rod Williams ended up, you know, uh, his last 15 games is one of the best centers in, in the West Coast at, at 6'6". And, you know, I'm seeing Omar right now, and I'm like, man, we got to get him. To, you know, he's kind of where Buzo was in November, a little bit of the foul trouble, the, you know, just things. He's getting better right in front of our eyes. We got to we gotta double down on that. And, and, and I think... I saw some really encouraging things with him tonight. He stayed out of foul trouble with great technique. He played still aggressively. We don't, we don't want to not foul because we're not being aggressive. We want to not foul because our technique is so good. Does uh, 70 points from the big three kind of how you draw it up? Yeah, yeah, especially you know because I didn't have to overdo their minutes. You know, Tyson only played 21, Buzo 25. We gave Max some extra to just keep him in the flow, let him let him feel that out. And, he was great. You know, and then that's the good thing about these guys. They continue to play the right way. I mean, you know, Max could have, like, I got to get 30. I got to – he doesn't. He made the right plays, right plays. I'm like, you good? Done. You know, instead of, like, I have to get 30. He let – hey, let those other guys get in and play. With, I don't know if it's the game or whatever. Myers, the, the guy for Western Oregon, 14 assists tonight. Yeah. The only other guy in your time here that had as many in a game, Grant Sherfield. Oh wow! Yeah, no, yeah. oh, he's impressive because you know it's he's impressive with the simplicity of, you know, he doesn't get bored with those easy just snap, you know, just snap it to a shooter, and it's a bucket, you know. And he made a few plays where he just there haven't been many guys like you said that just understand that like it might be just as simple as like one dribble at his guy and boom, and then it's gone, and. You know, so the good thing that I always talk about is when you play teams, you take something away from them because you see what they do good, and then your guys see it live, and they're like, well, I could do that. Well, hopefully that's something we can take away. You, talk, you kind of talk about point guard play. With a guy like Shade, maybe you don't realize, I mean, at least us, uh, don't realize what some of the good things he offered until he's gone. Yeah. You know, time last year, maybe his shooting percentage wasn't great, but I think you really can see his value now. Yeah. Max talked a little bit about, like, play for Shade Years. Yeah. Now he's trying to learn some new guys. Right. So what, what is that kind of No thing? doubt. And that's and the new guys are trying to learn not only him, but all of our guys and the system and the language and the you know, there's a lot. And you know, you want them to be there like that. And that's not fair. That's not real. You know, different guys learn at different speeds, they develop at different speeds and they're never as far away from being really good as as they think they are, or or the, maybe the fans think they are, because we're close. We're you know, uh, when I said we got 40% that we can get better at, well, we could play that way against a really good team if we're playing completely right, and um, you know that that's what our goal is. Mm-hmm. But then, like a minute later, he comes back and he finds, I believe it was Max for like a wide open yeah. three, wide pass, yeah. and he sprung back up off the bench and he smiled and he hugged him. Oh, 
I wanted to kiss him. Yeah, exactly. Because that's the growth. You know, I always tell them, I don't care about the mistakes. You know, we'll help you with mistakes. Mistakes are learning opportunities. I care about the response to the mistakes. So, number one, it was a perfect response. Number two, it was a simple play, but it was so valuable. It was like what we're talking about the other guy, where he just, he was smart enough. He just dribbled it and pitched it back to Max and got him a wide open rhythm three. And if that's, you know, we talk about being a great player, and being a great player is doing something that's repeatable. He could do that 14 times. He'd have 14 assists, you know. And uh, th 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 so those are growth moments, and we celebrate them. And, yeah, I, I wanted to kiss him. <laughs> I don't think he would have liked it. Yeah. They didn't have a lot of the biggest lineup out there, but in terms of the rebounding, you sure. got them by 30, uh, yeah. 29. But, I mean, how, what'd you think of the Yeah, rebounding? because it's cumulative. Our, our rebound effort is cumulative. And when, you know, when you play that many guys, those guys at the end, man, they were flying to the ball. And, you know, that, that's, that's what we want is it's, that's our standard is it's 40 minutes of rebounding because everybody's got a plan to start the game and to block out. And when fatigue sets in, that plan gets harder and harder to do if, you, if you're consistently going. And, you know, that's the standard I'm talking about, about going every time. And, man, we were caving them in at the end and beating them to balls and, Credit to those guys that sat for a long time and went in and got an opportunity. Maybe the only negative was they, you know, they were 12, they had 12 threes. I mean, was yeah. Were they just banging some in? Or well, the, 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 you know, I could have played one post and four guards all night long and probably would have cut their threes down a couple. But I wanted to get Omar and Cam together some. I wanted, you know. So it wasn't ideal defensively, like to have two centers out there together against four, four or five guards. So that you know, but it, it it's worth the experience for us. So yeah, maybe I could have cut a couple threes out, you know, out of that. But there might be times when we try to do that, that kind of thing. So, but I want them to be able to play together because Cam's passing is so good, and Omar, you know. Um, that'll that'll help us down the road. So, you know, part of that is just personnel driven. With Omar, I heard maybe in practice you guys called it pretty tight with him this week as he was trying to learn how to stay, you know, out of foul trouble. I mean, pretty good example of what he can do. I mean, he's like a sneaky passer there too. Oh no, yeah, I don't want him to fall in love with that though. He's uh, he's he's catch the ball and go score the ball because when he gets it one on one anywhere on the floor, you know. He's because we think about when he gets it, he's usually going to have shooters all around him, so he's going to be one on one, and they don't want to come off those shooters. So go score, go score until they come with two. Your job when you have the ball is to draw two, and if you draw two, then make the pass. And he did that in the post. No, he's got a great feel, great feel, just natural. But don't you know? Don't get over caught up in that. That your job is, you know, go score when you get it low a lot until they bring two and then go rebound and he's doing a you know tonight was a good rebounding game for him he got you know we want him to get a rebound about every three minutes and he was pretty close to that tonight you like how this sets up here where after the stretch you have these three games but each one's going to get a little bit harder it seems like you know tuesday and then sunday and then you kind of get these three games to work on I, these things going I, into, you know, the i just loved this game at this time it felt so <laughs> good for these guys and just the grind we've been through. I mean, 11 days on the road, then the neutral game, and then the, you know, the. I mean, credit the, them to find a way to beat North Texas. Because when I watched that film, we looked a little bit like we were running in sand. You know, and that's usually a little bit fatigue. We got finals coming up. I, you know, chance to catch their breath a little bit, concentrate on that. You know, knock that out of the park, which we do, and uh, so. Uh, this was kind of perfect timing and much needed, and and it's making us better. You know th that other stuff makes you better, but sometimes you need these games to make you better too. Max, Max was a walk-on. Uh, now he certainly looks like an all-conference player. Well, what can you say about his career and his growth? And what yeah. You know? Well, it takes perseverance. It takes toughness to show up every day and keep fighting. And the beauty of what he's gone through here, his past has trained him to do that. Or just don't overreact to it, you know, and just show up again and get better and keep fighting and, you know, you'll find a way. And he knows that works. And so those lessons are great for all the younger guys and they see his path, how hard it was to get out on the court, first of all, and how hard it was to get the opportunities to be 
a dude. And he's had to earn every, you know, that's one of the coolest things about the story is he's had to earn it more probably than anybody else has here. You know, that's what Shave said last year to him and it meant the world to him because he didn't want to be, hey, I'm the, you know, I know the coach, so I get to play. You know, it's never been about that for him. And it's never about that for anyone here. They have to fight and scrap and claw and, and it's hard to be a good player at this level, really hard. And, you know, I think his story is a great example for a lot of people. Max said something along the lines of he's glad he had a night like tonight because now everybody else in Boise can stop telling him how to play basketball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. True. No doubt. In terms of mental, mentally, like, do, you have to, do you check on him as much as you once did? Because he just kind of seems like he can, he can weather it. Back. No, but you never want to take that for granted because, guys, you never want – you know, that's hard. The, this – you know, with everybody, you never want to take their mental health and their, you know, what they're going through and outside people, the criticism they get. I, you know, we try to tell these guys, shut it down, shut it down, shut it down. Maybe they don't. And some of these kids, it gets to them. So you, you can never assume somebody's fine. We got to try to connect with all these guys all the time. And my staff does an amazing job with that. Amazing. And that's the most important thing. You know, it really is. That's why I have great X and O people to help me free up to have more time to take them to breakfast, take them to lunch, just get one-on-one -on -one time. When I, and I'm not talking about Max. I'm talking about the whole individuals and try to identify which ones need that the most. And, you know, I think sometimes Stella helps me figure out who needs it, you know, and uh, because that stuff's important. They go through a lot, and you never know what guys are going through outside of basketball too. You got to try to keep a handle on that, but um, you know we just want them to enjoy playing, and and sometimes the pressure makes it a grind for them. You got to take that off their shoulders or help them take that off. Speaking of the joy of playing, uh, we talk about assists, three point shooting, points in the paint, all that stuff. You guys score 109 points tonight. If you don't hit that total, it's not for Sam Winter. Uh, yes. Literally. Yes. So, that's cool. And Sam and Vince, man, they work hard. And, you know, that's, and that's why I appreciate everyone coming to this because they get to see a lot of people that work hard at, every day for this program and, you know, carry some loads behind the scenes and serve others. And um, they get some chance. And, and I wish I could give them more. You know, they deserve more. And, but I got, you know, 14 guys that deserve it too. So, you know, Moe's one of them. I, I, it's hard with three centers too. And you're playing a small team, you know, to get Mo a lot of minutes because Cam and Omar need a lot of minutes. I mean, you know, so all those guys deserve it. We got great guys, high character guys, and we're going to need Mo. I just, you know, I want him not to get discouraged because he is getting better and better. With, with Sam, you know, some of the guys that get in the end, it seems like the game's a little fast. Yeah. You like when made the right play? Oh, I know. I, mean, like, just, I was like, oh, I hope he doesn't get blocked. <laughs> yeah, that was good. He's good. He's a good player, though. He's on scout team. He does some good stuff. And Vince is a heck of a shooter when he gets it rolling. Those guys are good players. So, well, thank you. Uh, big games coming up. And uh, the toy drive starts Tuesday for the next two games. Bring a toy and uh, help some people in this community. It's a lot of fun for our guys to be able to have that chance to give back because this community brings toys. And a buddy of mine sends some toys, Mike Becker, the toy maker. So uh, it, it's a cool thing to be able to do, and uh, it means a lot to our team, and it means the, the world to the people we got to do it for last year.